everybody welcome to nursing talk channel hope you're all doing well today i would like to discuss about what is apart from the bedside nursing what other nursing opportunities do you have there are five nursing opportunities which i would like to discuss in my nursing talk channel one about nursing as a legal consultant second co nursing corporate nursing nursing informatics third is forensic nursing five a travel nursing or cruise ship nursing so today i have ashita savior who is one of our stu students who came here qualified and became as a student nurse and now has gone and doing at the moment working as a corporate nursing so let's hear from her, her what is corporate nursing is thank you very much ashita for all the help you have given me greetings everyone my name is ashita savior and I currently work at Leeds Teaching Hospitals Trust as a band six sister at Corporate Nursing. The team name is Professional Practice Standards and Safety Team. I would like to thank Sheen Aunty for giving me an opportunity to share my nursing career journey with you all. I really hope that you will find Nursery Talks very beneficial in succeeding your aspirations. To talk to you a bit about my nursing career, I completed my BSc Honours degree at Leeds Beckett University in 2013 um, with a level five in leadership and management um, certificate from Chartered Management Institute. I started my first job as Ban five staff nurse at cardiac intensive care unit through the nursing cohort interviews. In UK, nursing cohort interviews are conducted to recruit the newly qualified nurses and provide them with the opportunity to make three choices of clinical areas or specialities that they would like to start their career in. I worked in cardiac ICU for three years and during this period I completed all the competency packs and completed my slip course including sign off mentorship in 2016. At this point I felt I wanted to explore another spectrum of nursing and step up to the next level. I decided to apply for a band six in informatics and MMPS, so that stands for Medicines Management and Pharmacy Services, as a project nurse to implement electronic medication prescription and administration system to replace the traditional paper prescription charts. In this role, I learned change management methodologies and as a band six, how to influence change and overcome barriers to change. I had to be the role model for medicines management procedures, which I felt as a great responsibility as my, my team would look up to me as a senior. And during this implementation phase, staff were monitored on their medicines administration practices and any in compliance to policy were escalated and training were then provided. During this job, I realized how much I love teaching and being that person who evolves change and maintaining standards. In 2017, I applied for a band six at corporate nursing, which is what I'm currently doing. I wanted to explore corporate nursing as it is not widely known to the public. Corporate nursing teams are directly under the management of the trust chief nurse and operational nursing directors. Our team focuses on the monitoring of professional standards and patient safety of the trust. We are responsible for the metrics audit framework and set standards for the nursing teams. The audits moved from monthly to weekly to ensure that standards are continued to be met during the pandemic. Clinical areas performing below 80% at the end of the month are classed as red. We use the traffic light system to escalate and once a ward becomes red, they trigger an assurance visit from our team. During the assurance visit, we audit the whole ward and pick up themes around the general ward environment, leadership and management issues, documentation standards, patient and staff feedback are obtained to support our findings. An action plan is then created on an individual basis, identifying the support plan to aid improvement. The support plan will include leadership support, education, team building, and boosting staff morale through empowerment. The metrics audit will continue to be monitored to measure improvement 
in compliance. In addition to the metrics audit, we also get the opportunity to be involved in the quarterly nursing audit process, quality improvement collaboratives, policy development and review. My current role has molded me to be a better nurse and be more confident in the way I hold myself. I've been able to build relations with both internal senior leaders and external organisations such as the police in the missing patients policy development and review. I'm now enrolled on to the lead, Lean for Leaders leadership and management course in order to enable me to step up to a band seven. I have an 18 months old daughter, but being a wife and mother never stopped me from aiming higher and achieve my goals. In the last seven years of my nursing career journey, I have always looked out for opportunities which will equip me in my career development. The early years of nursing is all about exploring the diversity within nursing. In UK, we are quite privileged that we have a lot of routes we can explore, such as clinical educators, advanced nurse practitioners, and in the community, we have district nursing, intermediate care, um, workforce and education within the trust, human resources, operational management through corporate nursing, medicines management, pharmacy services, etc. The list just goes on. Based on my personal career journey in nursing, the four tips I would like to share with you all are firstly to have a clear aim or goal so that you know where you want to be um, and it's about how you are going to get there. Two, in order for you to achieve your goals, you need to challenge yourself. Fight through all the challenges. Make sure nothing stops you from developing. Third, Express Thank you your interest for in watching my nursing to your top channel. And a good Please way of doing like, that is subscribe express it and share. Appraisal. And also, then it becomes uh, written down. Valuable feedback. It becomes an objective and it, ma it makes it formal. And they will have to support you once it's on your appraisal. And fourth is sign up to personal development courses. Don't hesitate. Take every opportunity that comes through. Sometimes it's funded, sometimes it's in-house training, but it's about giving yourself an opportunity. Thank you all for watching my video on Nursey Talks, and I strongly recommend you all to tune in to the new videos that are due to be uploaded. I hope you all find this very useful and work hard to get to where you want to be in life. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.